Hey, this is Minister Paul, and I praise God. It's 1.20 p.m. here on the West Coast in Northern California. It's January 7, 2014. I stumbled upon this article, and I think it's no coincidence. And so what I want to do um, is just sound the alarm again for anybody willing to listen it, it, I mean, if you cannot see what is going on in the world, um, you're blind. How can you not see it? And yet, you know, I have family members who literally can't see this stuff that's happening all over the world that the Bible says would happen 2,000 years later. It's in your face. And this is one of the things that I've been following since 1995, when I first heard about VeriSign, who later uh, became Vera Chip, and now Motorola is involved for a long time, and other chip makers, um, you can pay by chip, you can get chip and use hospital services, and some people don't believe this is the mark of the beast, and they come up with all these other crazy ideas that are that the Bible is the mark of the beast or Islam is the mark of the beast. No, it says it has to go on your hand or your forehead and that you can't buy or sell. So it have to be something that the government would use on a worldwide level to control you. And we see it getting more and more advanced, not by the year, but by the month, sometimes even the week. If this stuff is what they're showing us, think about what they're not showing us. It says former DARPA director and now Google executive. So it's a Google executive. Reagan, uh, Re Regina Dugan is pursuing an edible authentication microchip along with an electronic tattoo that can read your mind. And I, I, we've seen this tattoo before. I mean, no, this isn't a movie script about a futuristic scientific dictatorship. It says it's trendy and cool. Has, have you guys seen this electronica? Uh, I, I want to add credibility to this and then I'll put a link. Um, but the, here's here. The, just look under electronics, not under the mark of the beast, but under cool things. Um. Uh, electronic tattoo mark of the beast I, I won't take this stuff but now it's in a pill form and I remember reading about this but um, okay the head of advanced technology at Google owned Motorola uh, told an audience at the all things D1 conference that the company's working on a microchip inside a pill that users would swallow daily in order to obtain the superpower. This just sends chills through me. This is how close we are. Of having their entire body act as a biological authentication system for cell phones, cars, doors, and, you know, also paying bills, I assure you. I just did Revelation 13, 14 last night and woke up to this today. The pill has a small chip inside of it with the switch said Dugan it also has what amounts to an inside out potato battery when you swallow it the acids in your stomach serve as the electrolyte and that powers it up and the switch goes on and off and creates an 18-bit ECG wide signal in your body I, I believe this stands for electrocardiogram right I could be wrong but uh, and Essentially, your entire body becomes your authentication token. Did you hear what I just said? Are we really that asleep that it's been approved by the FBA? So this has been approved by our federal government for you to uh, swallow a chip. And it can be taken 30 times a day for your entire life without affecting your health. Would you swallow a Google microchip every day simply to access your cell phone? What about buy or sell? And so I'm going to put a link to this article for you can read it for yourself. But just to add credibility to this article and for you to watch the video, I looked up this, uh, I looked up this uh, conference 
the All Things D1 conference, and it's right here. So it is uh, by several sources, several sources, not just Alec Jones, this happened. They're not making these things up. This is credible, and this is should be scary. Look at that. 733, if you follow my channel, you know where I'm going. So look at this. 90% of the United States of America is frozen. And we're to expect more extreme weather. Matter of fact, I heard today was supposed to be uh, colder than yesterday. You can die in 10 minutes from this uh, Texas power grid pushed to its edge. Voluntary government checkpoints. Blood and saliva samples. Guccifer unleashed. Stars hacked. Cell phones, email scripts. Gate, Bill Gates issues harsh critique of Obama in memoir. Slams Biden. And then. And here is just. I haven't even looked at this yet. So you're seeing it when I'm seeing. Uh, priest beaten to death inside rectory. I think this is the local story. What in the world is this? Bedroom invading smartphones. Jumble body sleep rhythms. And this has just caught my eye right here. Canada's former defense minister says. Aliens exist. Something that I knew was coming for a long time. You know, DARPA, do some research on what DARPA is. It's what this is, is control. The government, you know, because the FDA is involved, which is the government, um, has approved, yeah, take this chip so we can control you. We're literally like one step away from them asking us to take the mark of the beast and half of the world is asleep well today i tell you you need to listen to this because i don't want nobody sleeping that i come encounter when i stand before jesus in heaven which i will whether you know christ or not he's real uh i'm gonna say man i told everybody i could jesus everybody i could reach i did with no shame in my game I wanted the world to know that I saw it coming and I sounded the alarm and I didn't want it to happen on my watch but you know what here's the thing we can't stop this because it was foretold it's gonna happen not when or not if rather just it, it will happen in my lifetime we're seeing it right here be ready and if you let me close with this, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, um, I would like to pray with you. I'm a minister and uh, and show you some ways that you can uh, meet Christ and avoid all this, because you know where this leads. The mark of the beast leads to hell forever.